Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition where we're here to offer you insights and information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collection. So are you familiar with the board game Tapestry? If not, you might want to go and look up a little bit about it and then come back here because today we're talking about its expansion, plans and ploys. So first things first, what's actually in this expansion box? And if you want a close up look at that, I've also made an unboxing video. In Tapestry Plans and Ploys, you receive the following components. 10 asymmetric civilization mats, seven unique painted landmark miniatures, five landmark cards, 15 tapestry cards, four space tiles and one replacement space tile, 12 landmark tokens, one rule book, and one exploration bag. So how different is what's in this expansion from what we got in the original base game of Tapestry? Um, on first inspection, it might look like you're just getting more of the same stuff. You know, there are still Tapestry cards, Civilization cards, um, but there are some very subtle differences here. Um, notably, I suppose, with the landmark card, which has now become a personal goal, um, and you get your own landmark for your own city once you've completed it. I think that's a nice evolution of the landmark building idea, while also making your capital city a little bit easier to complete. Um, there's a big difference in the style of the tapestry cards um, and these feel much more interesting and definitely much more rewarding when you play them. The new civilizations I think are really really interesting um, and they're the kind of things I really wanted to play with more of. They all seem very focused um, and specific and definitely encouraged you to change your gameplay style I think more than the ones in the original game did. And of course you get a cloth bag to put your exploration tiles and I think that's a nice touch. Okay, so the really important question, of course, is, is this expansion worth having? Um, I'm going to come straight out and tell you that I think this is one of the best expansions I've played in a while. And I mean that in terms of the way it helps out the original game. Because for me, Tapestry was very lacklustre. Um, and this idea that going up tracks and playing random Tapestry cards were supposed to represent you developing a civilization was almost laughable. Um, but this expansion isn't going to fix all of those problems for sure but it's definitely a step in the right direction. The civilization cards are the real standout here. They feel really focused, really directed and really interesting. Um, I couldn't help but want to try all of them and there are a couple of uh, different types. There are some that engage with kind of the actions you do, there are some that engage with others um, which I also thought was really really interesting and as a whole they just felt really fully thought through and fleshed out um, and definitely altered how you approached your gameplay strategy and that's really something I'd wanted in the original game. Um, the tapestry cards also get a major boost here. Um, they were really really fun and interesting and I love the fact that the trap cards that even if you know you were to play them down as a tapestry card the bonuses you got were vastly improved and um, they all just felt so much better. Um, as a whole, like this expansion, I think is really, really good. It got me a step closer to the tapestry. I hope I I'd hoped for. Um, and it just kind of refined everything and brought it all together nicely. Um, and of course, like the landmark building goal you get, I think is nice too. It gave you a goal to start out with from the beginning of the game to give you something to work towards and you could plan your game around it. And I just thought it was kind of a nice introductory touch. Um, overall, this expansion is really, really fun. It definitely like upped the fun levels of Tapestry for me. And if Tapestry wasn't your jam before, I don't know if this is going to fix it for you, but it definitely helped it a little bit for me. If you already love Tapestry, then I think this is a must have. I think it takes Tapestry in a, a slightly better direction. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about plans and ploys, why not check them off in the comment box below? I'd really, really love to hear from you. Um, and until next time, tune in again for some more short and informative board game reviews.